Let's talk about something very important, the H1 chip available in AirPods Pro. Also, let's discuss about the W1 chip, the previous generation, and about the Android system and its sound. Um, also, uh, we will analyze the latency because this is very important. So, first of all, the H1 chip is the latest generation chip dedicated for um, earbuds. It's made by Apple and you won't find it in any other product. It's top-notch product and nothing available on the market can compete with it. So the H1 chip has a Bluetooth modem, a digital signal processor called DSP and a coprocessor for um, interpreting sensor information. This H1 chip is faster than the previous generation called W1. It has a 30% lower latency compared with the W1 and the switching between devices, between, for example, iPhone and iPad, if you have the same AirPods connected, it's twice as fast. So if you use that automatically, automatic feature uh, to switch between your devices, the H1 chip is twice as faster than the previous generation W1. Also, the power management, um, the battery life, it's improved. For example, you will get 50, 50 percentage more in phone calls. So this is impressive. Also, the H1 chip has Bluetooth. It's working with Bluetooth 5 compared with um, W1 that works with uh, Bluetooth 4.2. And also the H1 uh, knows and accept uh, voice commands for Siri. The W1 doesn't. So it's very important. And overall, the sound is improved and much better. And uh, my decision is go for H1 because it's a top-notch uh, top uh, product uh, and the best dedicated chip for sound. Let's go back to latency to H1 and Android. If you try to use AirPods Pro, for example, with your Android, don't do it because AirPods Pro, uh, they use um, AAC codec. On Android, the AAC codec, it's not okay. It has the bigger latency. You will ask what is latency? Well, the latency is the time of response when you give a command and when you receive uh, the result. Uh, for example, when you press the button on your AirPods and the music stops or play, uh, plays or it will uh, take commands. Anyway, this is latency. On Android, latency, it's a huge, huge problem. Um, and now it's even bigger because they don't have um, hardware uh, with a dedicated chip for the sound like Apple has. Um, Apple Apple has this H1 chip and H1 chip is a dedicated chip for sound and for, uh, for example, earbuds in this case. Um, it's, it's something like you would have a processor made for your phone, uh, something like this. Anyway, the Android has a huge problem with latency and Google uh, tried to solve this. Uh, anyway, um, their devices are the best. After that, as I know, Samsung and at the least it's Huawei. Um, so the biggest latency are uh, is uh, on their devices, on Huawei devices. Anyway, um, so with Android, try to use something else uh, with, uh, with another codec because uh, the AAC codec has a problem on Android and also the, the Android has a problem with latency. They should do something uh, about this. And I, as I said, Google already tried to solve this problem, but um, they have a problem and they are working with, with a Bluetooth device that has also latency on, on the market. And now they have a bigger problem even if they try to use in, in the present Bluetooth 5. Anyway, Apple found the solution for this overcrowded 2.4 gigahertz band because everything that is wireless, it's working on this band uh, and it's overcrowded. That's why on Android, you will have 
uh, so bad experience with earbuds, wireless earbuds, interrupted connections, poor sound quality, uh, time of latency, huge. That's why, because they don't have something like this chip, this H1 chip. And if you are, if you are, um, if you want to try, for example, even the first generation, the w, W1 chip, you will say, well, Android, it's years, years in the past compared with Apple Sound because I don't know why they don't create something like this. The sound on Android, uh, if we talk about the experience, um, uh, the wireless experience, it's horrible. So go for something like this, some earbuds pro in my uh, in my opinion, and with this H1 chip, you will you will have the best experience. At least at this moment, you can't find anything that can compete with this top-notch chip.